Greetings, prop makers of the world, and this week we are working on a insect, a bug of epic proportions. Well, this is a Dobson fly. I saw this thing on uh, at some point. This is real. It's not as big as this, but it's not too far off. And I just love the way it looks. So I came up with an idea for making an insect video based on said Dobson fly, regardless. This is a quick and easy build using a bunch of scraps you may have lying around and it's recycling because it's using plastic to, you know, repurpose into wings. Regardless, I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty, we are heading directly into the said Dobson fly build. In reality, this can be used for multiple things. I was looking at this wing and I'm like, hey, that almost looks like a dragonfly wing as well. So what you're going to be doing is on the sheet down below, you will find all the template pieces to build said Dobson fly wings. So this is fun. This is plastic that I found on um, food packaging. This was actually a croissant box that you buy in just any supermarket. And it's nice and thick. And it also comes on cookie packages. You just have to go looking for something that A, you like to eat and B, you want to go pull the plastic off of to make into wings. What you do is you don't go out of the, your way to find this stuff directly. You just store it away. You, you, whenever you see one of those big plastic things, cut out the flat surfaces on it, put it into a folder somewhere. So when you ever needed something like this, you've got it on hand because I really like oh, this plastic. So the, now the next step is, is once you've got your wing ready to go, on the template, you will find this here. And I think this is the actual flip. Oh, this is the correct one. So what you do is you just tape this down. Oh, no, this isn't the right one. Which one is this? Uh, oh. oh, I know what it is. I just had it backwards. So what you do is you put this thing down like so over top. And then using just a Sharpie marker, you draw over the entire thing. It takes a while, and you see I actually almost run out of material here, but I'll make it work. It takes a while, but the end effect is gorgeous. And then what you want to do is you've got this wing and this wing. You need to do two of each of them, and when you're all done, you'll take that and cut it out, obviously. When you're all done, you'll have something that looks like this. Now you'll see there's a very slight kink in this one you can catch. That is, so when you stick it into the body, when we're all done, it holds and doesn't go all floppy. It just gives it a little bit of rigidity. And what we're going to be doing is, this is the upper wing, this is the lower wing, like so. It's going to be going like this on the final version. So we're going to have the wings overlapping like this, and this can look really cool. Do that two times, get both sets of wings done. And you know, you'll notice that you can see lines in there. Not a big deal. It looks realistic enough when it's up on the wall. Don't be too hard on yourself. Now, on this same template, which is now cut out, you will see a few other things that you notice. These are the uh, mandibles, which we'll be putting on later. This is your leg template. Uh, this may change. I'm not completely sure, but I believe I'm doing it this way. And then the final thing you're going to see is this, which is the body. Now, what's great about this project is it's literally using leftover pieces that you've got kicking around all the time. Now here, you will see a piece of styrofoam. I'm trying to figure out what I was actually cutting out of this before, because you can usually see what prop I had built out of one of these the last time around. And I believe, I don't remember what this is. Regardless, you can see that I glued this on and using a hot wire, I cut it out. Mm, just like that, magic. So tight and fit. Get out of there. Okay, now, the bug carapace here is not perfectly right. As of by the pictures, I couldn't really tell. The pictures are so dark. So I kind of took some artistic license and made it look how I want to make it look. All I did is I picked some segmented areas and I just cut in with the knife. I chamfered the edges. I used the sanding bit on my Dremel to, uh, you know, polish it down a little bit. And that's as far as that needs to go. Just go as far as you need. 
I'm going to hit this with a heat gun after just to seal it up and make all of the surfaces go that little bit smoother. And then after that, uh, next time you see this, it'll be painted and I'll talk to you about how we are going to install the wings. I'll be back. Now we continue on. On the sheet, you're going to find this template. You can see I didn't cut out exactly. It doesn't matter. It just have to be close, more scale than anything. So you want to cut out two of these out of quarter inch EVA foam or whatever you have lying around. You can, you can have some, you can vary this one up a bit. Then once you've got it all cut out, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take a rotary tool and just smooth out the edges so you end up with it as a more peak. You'll see when it's done, then he seal it with the heat gun. Now, using for the legs, we're going to use the foam wire ties. Now here on the template, and it's actually stuck on there now, you will see this here. And what this is, is this is just how you should be bending your leg increments. And it's just a quick little way of making sure you get as close as possible. So using those full wire ties, you cut them. You wanna make sure you leave enough metal here so you can cut back, cause this is gonna go and hold it into the body. Then using uh, an X-Acto knife, just score the joints. Using a heat gun, but not too much heat like I did on this quick example. You hit it with the heat gun, you just gently pinch this carefully because that can be hot and you'll end up with a leg that looks somewhat like this but not overcooked. This is what happens when somebody gets a little bit too zealous with a heat gun. No idea who, just uh, just an odd chance. So you'll see here, mandibles are in place. All you have to do to get these in is cut a small square in the front of your styrofoam, insert and glue and you'll see it turns out pretty cool there. Now the legs, you can see that all I did is once this was all heat gunned up, I just stuck it in and you can see all the joints are done. It doesn't have to be perfect. And on the bottom, I just put a little bit of glue on each side, let it drain down. In about 10 minutes, I then came back and, you know, just smoothed it out so I didn't have any joints. And you end up with your main body carapace. Now, our next step here is going to be the wings. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do a bit of silver coloring on this or copper. I'm not completely sure yet. I haven't decided, but I'll definitely let you know. Now, using an X-Acto knife, we're going to be cutting slots in here, which will allow the wings to go in. You get to pick the angle that you want them at, but I'm going to be putting them in at a bit of a more open, aggressive angle up. So this thing really sits 3D from the wall. The eyes, you can do however you want. I think I'm going to go and do some beads on it to make it look like it's got some beady eyes. Technically, it's, it'll have multiple, but I'm only going to do two because I don't want to overcomplicate it too much. So anyways, once you've got this done, that's what's great, this is so light as well. Once you've got this done, dry brush it, get it all ready, and do everything you need to do to it before you start putting the wings on. I'll be back to show you how I do the wings. All right, we are all finished, Mr. Dobson Fly here. Using some glass beads, I just use a little drill bit and made a hole so I could push the eyes in. And you can see that it actually divoted the area where I put the eye in. The wings, all you do is you take an X-Acto knife and you slice in and just insert it. This wing will actually cut its own path in once you get it certain depth. And then the lower wing, you'll see here that I put it at a slight angle to support the upper wing. So when it all goes together, it holds nicely. Then you just glue them in and you're done. Now, when you decide to position this thing up wherever you decide to do it, what's nice about these legs is they can be moved so you can actually have them so it looks like it holds onto said tree. Regardless, it's all done. This is a pretty straightforward little prop build. You don't have to build a Dobson fly. You can build whatever the heck you want with this, but it's a great way of using up extra material and it's a fun little project to even do with kids if you want to because it's pretty straightforward. Regardless, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe and listen to my ranting every once in a while. So regardless, uh, I'll be back again for the next video, which happens to be a secret. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Anyways, tune in next time. Have a good one.